Originally, his name was just Fern. And that came from the central contrast between him and another prominent character in the storyline, back then known only as Rose. Now these ideas came to me in a delirious state of illness, so my memories are not completely clear or accurate. But basically, a line of dialogue occurred to me in that illness. Something along the lines of, I am but a wilted fern, unworthy of you, O resplendent rose. You see, Fern was broken, bedbound, disempowered, helpless on his own. Rose was competent, established, empowered, connected. I knew this much before these characters had names. Their names were derived then from the sense of smallness, unworthiness, and shame that this brittle fern might feel in coming to depend on the powerful, healthy Rose. As for Ray's first name, that's considerably less complex. What that boils down to is, I had a co-worker who approached me and blurted out, Andrew, I really, really want to sleep with you. And that doesn't happen every day. So her boldness kept her name at top of mind when it came to writing The Fern and the Rose. Oh, her name, of course, was Ray. <laughs>